Now we're turning to the growing outbreak in Washington. At least 34 people connected to the White House now testing positive for the virus. President Trump returning to the Oval Office and claiming an experimental drug cured him. Our senior White House correspondent Cecilia Vega is in Washington with more this morning. Good morning, Cecilia. Hi, Michael. Good morning to you. And on top of all of that, listen to this. There's this new report out this morning by the USA Today that says the White House outbreak could have potentially exposed thousands of people to the virus through these rallies, events, and meetings in recent days. And yet here we are, the White House will still not say publicly when the president last had a negative test, and that is making it nearly impossible to trace his contacts. This morning, the coronavirus outbreak on the grounds of the White House, even worse than the Trump administration has admitted. ABC News obtained an internal memo sent Wednesday to top officials at FEMA, listing the total number of infected White House staffers and other contacts at 34. That's 10 more than had been previously known. Hi, perhaps you recognize me. It's your favorite president. President and Trump supposed to be in isolation in the residence, posting this new video to Twitter, filmed in the Rose Garden by a White House staff photographer. He also spent part of the day working in the Oval Office. The president now calling his illness a blessing. I think this was a blessing from God that I caught it. This was a blessing in disguise. He's also touting the experimental antibody cocktail made by Regeneron that less than 10 people outside of clinical trials have received. I heard about this drug. I said, let me take it. It was my suggestion. I said, let me take it. And it was incredible the way it worked. Incredible. Now he says he wants everyone to get access to that same treatment. Overnight, Regeneron Pharmaceuticals formally asking the FDA for the emergency authorization the president is pushing for. His White House doctor releasing few details about the president's condition, saying he is feeling great and symptom free, claiming they detected antibodies. But Regeneron telling ABC it's likely those antibodies are from their drug and not generated by the president's own immune system. And with the election just weeks away and the president trailing in the polls, he now concedes there will not be a vaccine before November 3rd. But even as the virus has now killed 211,000 Americans, President Trump continues to downplay it. You're going to get better, you're going to get better fast, just like I did. So again, a blessing in disguise. Good luck. And now there is some scathing criticism out this morning. This is unprecedented. The New England Journal of Medicine writing an editorial uh, condemning the Trump administration's response to this pandemic, calling for a change in November. And on top of that, ABC has now obtained this letter written by a former head of the CDC under both Republican and Democratic administrations, written to the agency's current director, calling the response, Michael, a colossal failure and a slaughter. Mm. Yes, that, that speaks volumes. Okay, thank you so much, Cecilia. And we're going to turn now, and we're going to talk more about the president's condition now with ABC News Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jennifer Ashton. And Doc, I want to talk, go straight about Regeneron. The president's physician said that they detected antibodies in his blood. Now, Regeneron said they could be from the treatment, not his own immune system. So how important is the difference? Well, I want to be crystal clear, Michael. It should not alter behavior one iota. The CDC recommendations are that a person who has tested positive for COVID isolate for 10 days since the onset of symptoms or that positive test. But according to infectious disease specialists, depending on the test method or assay used to check those antibodies, they could be picking up the Regeneron antibodies. But it is also possible that someone on this timeline could be making their own natural antibodies. But bottom line, you still isolate for 10 days. And yesterday, the president, he called antibody treatment a cure and saying he's, he's trying to get it approved for emergency use. This is, this is something only a handful of people in the U.S. have received outside of clinical trials. So is it too fast? Well, to be clear, before the FDA grants an emergency use authorization, uh, they need to see, we need to see phase three clinical trials for safety and efficacy in medicine and science. We do not go by anecdotal reports, which is one patient's experience. It's absolutely positive when someone has a good effect, but it does not mean that can push forward um, on emergency use authorization yet. Yeah, certain things you just have to be patient and wait for the the right cure. All right. Thank you so much, Doc. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here. 
to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.